Okay, so Martin and I just finished all the weighing and analysis, and we're going to take the soil samples to the furnace. Yeah? You got it, Martin? You got both of them? Yeah. All right, let me get to the door for you. So this new area over here and the corridor we're about to go into where it says hard hat area is um, <laughs> hard hat or hard hat, whichever one. <laughs> they're building some new labs. They're very nice. They're very nice labs. Speaking of which, our lab, which is wetland ecology and environmental chemistry, is relocating. So once the elevator is fixed, we will move all the equipment out. And see, this part is still under construction, but you can look inside and see that they're building some pretty nice new labs. And those are similar to the ones that we're relocating to. So we're moving down over to the fence. Hold the door for me, Martin. The door is open. Thank you. Okay, so we're here in the furnaces. So let me just set the camera down onto the tripod for a moment. Okay, excellent. Let's show the camera you can see there. This is the furnace um, where we ash our soil and parasite samples, and then we take an ash weight and then we reweigh that. Right now, we just weighed a dry weight which is we put the soil sample in the, in the drying oven and dried that, and now we're gonna put it in the furnace and burn off any of the remaining material that's in it, and then we're gonna take an ash load. And that's gonna tell us basically how much carbon and nutrient was in it and how much is lost. If too much of it is lost or our number is more than half of the initial number that we had, it means that the nutrient level in the soil is a little low. So Martin right now is um, putting these samples into the oven, so I'll take the camera over here to see what the inside of the oven looks like. Uh, Martin, do you know the max temperature that these ovens get to? Well, for these samples that we're doing right now, we're going to be putting this puppy to 550 degrees Celsius. So you certainly do not want to be near it. Which is extremely hot. <laughs> yeah. Some some of these some of these could go higher than 550. I think this one goes to 600 max. But you have that big one over there that we use for destroying. I mean, the the samples. <laughs> destroying the ice. <laughs> So right now these are at 80 degrees. We keep a log of the temperature. What is what is this machine for, Martin? Oh, just another oven. It's like that. Just another oven. Convention yeah. oven. And just these are all a bunch of different ovens. All oh, different ovens. Different people like different ovens. All right, so that's about it for the oven. Um, we're gonna ash these for about four hours in the oven, and then Martin's gonna have to come back in four hours and take them out. I'm not. I'm gonna what? be. I'm gonna be probably still at Home Depot getting the parts for the fume hood. I'm gonna build in my garage. Um, so right after this, we're actually gonna make a a Stephen Love Science chemistry video. So um, we'll see tuned. you then. Stay tuned. Bye. Thanks for watching.